Yes, you can get more than 130 FPS on PS5. Even though you can't output it through HDMI port, but it helps to reduce input lag. If you want the best performance on your PS5, follow this video. The first option is Game Presets. In this section, if you choose Performance Mode, when you start a game, they switch to the highest FPS mode to give you a smoother gameplay. Keep in mind that not every game follows these settings, and some games like Hogwarts Legacy needs to restart to enable ray tracing. And if the preset was set to performance mode it couldn't switch to resolution or t mode so use the game default if you ever changed your mind vrr is a great option to prevent tearing in fps changes but if you play competitive games in most cases turning vrr off helped us to reduce the controller input lag input lag is a time when you press a button until it works in the game if the game also has a vsync option like rainbow six turning that off helps with higher fps and lower input lag in case of rainbow six it unlocks frame rate and can go higher than 120 which in our test reduces the controller input lag and it's the most responsive game we've ever tested on ps5 if a game supports unlocked fps or vrr mode using that option also gives you higher performance but can cause lower picture quality the same goes with 120 hertz option even if you play on 40 fps mode it can help with faster response time if you don't use a monitor using game mode or allm option on your console helps with reducing the overall TV input delay. Using lower resolutions on PS5 doesn't help with lower input lag nor higher performance. We made a lot of tests in the past and it didn't help. HDR doesn't affect the input lag or performance based on the test we made in COD and some other games recently, but it may increase the power usage in some cases compared to SDR about 1 to 5 watts. If you know any other tips, let us know in the comments.